Welcome, guys, to the first ever North America RLCS Three Stars of the Week, appointed by me. This is not an RLCS official thing. This is just who I thought was the best throughout the week for North America. I will also be doing Europe weekly, hopefully. And, uh, yeah, let's get right into it. The number three star coming in, Lemon Puppy from Radiance, the surprise team coming out of North America. 16 seed, taking out Iris off stream, and then... Playing at Lear on stream, winning in five games. Not a lot of goals from Radiance, only six, but Lemon Puppy got the credit for five. Probably should have had the credit for only four because Halcyon was, should have probably got the shot in game number five, but Lemon Puppy got in his way and got the pool shot credit and got the goal. But Lemon Puppy, he was just a new. A nuisance on the offensive side, trying to go for bumps on goalies a lot, trying to create some offensive pressure. It didn't work all the time, but when it mattered most, Lemon Puppy was coming in with the goals, scoring th five of the six for the team. Uh, defensively, Radiance put on a show as well, but can't give stars out to everyone from the same team. So Lemon Puppy coming in at the third spot with his credit of his offensive credit of the five of the six goals. Moving on to number two, we have Mr. Vince himself. Rome puts it in for classics. That aggression coming out hard, but Zane Jackie once again on that backward oh, spider attack. attack. Is that going to go in? Oh my oh, goodness! The Vince. bar down and the post. He finds the net. The problem with committing so many two against one. Vince just plays that immediately off the wall and could not place that any better. Top left off the bar. It bounces in. Take three is going to take game one. Well, uh, earlier we were actually watching replays as a group there. Uh, Vince are having to come up from take three, it's do or die if they don't want to be dropped. Worst case, you go down to the lower, but you may as well put it all in. Oh, Vince had all oh, there's a shot. Oh my is God. able to follow through. What a stuff coming out from Vince as he follows through. Oh my goodness. These guys leaving it all on the line as Vince comes flying through preemptively to put that back down for his teammate. And then the follow up. You've got to be kidding me. 19 seconds left. Do or die moment. No one wants to drop to the lower bracket. Finds themselves back down on offense. RVP needed to be maybe be up for that one. They're allowing this oh, ball to no go back way, down Vince. to their own end quickly. And Vince, another incredible shot from him. Well, now Vince showing a lot of expertise in this as well. Like a lot of players, when they're trying to read those backwards, uh, those double touches, the issue is, and for a lot of people that are getting new to it, is they don't give themselves enough time in the air to react to it. And what Vince basically feathers his boost to make. And there you have it, guys. Vince coming in at the number two spot. Honestly, throughout the entire Take 3 and Genesis series, Vince was basically carrying Take 3. We saw a lot of uh, misplays by uh, Zane on the defensive end. We saw Espion a lot on his player cam, uh, looking lost at times throughout the Genesis series. Vince was keeping it close. He had that game one uh, overtime winner. Beautiful shot into the top left corner. And honestly, he was... He was just doing work for them. He had a couple of mistakes as well. Look, no one's perfect. But then game five, he makes up for some of those mistakes on this dunk pass to tie the game with 19 seconds left. Zane Jackie getting the credit for the goal there. And he kept a minute. They just barely couldn't beat out Genesis, though. A very tough opponent. And take three fell down to the lower bracket where they got to face Heroes of Tomorrow. And this is where Vince kind of started to pad the, uh, the stat line just a bit. Uh, Heroes of Tomorrow, probably not in the... Uh, or uh, definitely not like in the same uh, difficulty level as Genesis, but he put on a field day. Like I could have probably took three highlights easily from just this series. Uh, this beautiful double touch goal from Vince, just a beauty. Here's a tomorrow. You just can't. Uh, there's no way uh, you're saving that. That was also a beautiful clear too from his teammate Zane Jackie to set that play up. But Vince putting on a field day versus Heroes of Tomorrow. But honestly, he had some pretty good stats during the Genesis series as well. As we fill it in here, he had 1.25 goals per game across his two series and also one assist per game. So a 2.25 goals plus assist is an insanely high number. And again, some of that is patent from the Heroes of Tomorrow series, but he also played extremely well versus Genesis. And that's why he gets my number two star. Moving on, we'll go on to the, to the number one star. And of course, it is insolences. Up on offense, 30 seconds left, still 1-1. Take three looking to finally make their attack, but they do find themselves backing down on their own end. Insol by himself, 
puts one in, and they may avoid that overtime situation. Insult taking it into his own hands. You see one starting to cheat up, which is Zane Jackie, but Insult gets that second touch off the wall, and because of that slight hesitation, Zane Jackie then gets caught having to double back, and he plays it around, uses the momentum of that hit, and then just plays it into himself. Really well played, and with 22 seconds left, they may be able to close this one out. Maybe hindsight should have put it right in. Couldn't quite, that does get stopped out for Vince. Insole with an air dribble himself, trying to get the backside of the Batmobile to block out Zane, but he's got a nice hitbox himself. A power shot to the net, and Chrome will find themselves a win in overtime. It all has to do with that initial air dribble from Insole. As he's bringing that in, it forces that defender to come up and challenge it. It pinches in their favor, immediately Chrome's up on the wall and puts a response back in. They're gonna take game number three. Up to Espion, good passing play, not enough power, Insole. Has a chance to fling that one back down off the backboard. No one there to contest it. And Insul is going to take mad advantage of that one and win themselves a spot into the league play for North America. Insul, definitely the MVP for me for this entire series, being yeah. all over the field. And then just like you said, nobody up on the backboard. We talk about how people having to get a little more conventional because of it. In the one time, pretty much, that we don't see somebody up waiting for it, it gets played right in the middle and then a shot. Something like, that's like OG. And there you have it, guys. Insolences coming in as the number one star of the week for North America. And honestly, he put on a show when it mattered the most. A uh, game-winning goal there. Basically, probably a mistake from Zane Jackie, but that second touch was actually a lot more powerful than he thought, and he got the finish in game number two to tie up the series for Genesis. They were down uh, one game at this point. And honestly, he just kept coming up big every time there was a chance where the games was really close and insolences would come up with a huge play. Right here, we see the aerial dribble to uh, put the pressure on, basically, versus take three. Turns into an assist because Chrome uh, gets the finish here. He had uh, two or three very quality uh, air dribbles to basically make take three have to reset completely and go on the defensive end while Genesis could put on the offensive pressure. Played phenomenally throughout the entire series. It wasn't always in the stat line itself. He was just getting quality ball touches when it mattered most. And then again, game five. Uh, this was after that Vince uh, dunk pass to tie the game. Then Insole comes in with the clutch goal in game number five to take the win for Genesis. Not having to worry about that lower bracket. I'm just getting in here. Uh, great clear to himself. Probably not the best defense in the world from take three. But again, uh, Insolence's uh, coming in when it mattered most with some clutch plays and Chrome obviously leaving because, you know, he's toxic. But Insolences is my number one star of the week. He had two game-winning goals, one game-winning assist, and just quality play all around from him. Uh, Genesis is looking really good right now. Uh, after that series, like I'm becoming a little bit more of a believer of them versus a uh, team like Take 3. Take 3 looked a little lost uh, at times throughout that series. Uh, I thought Genesis could have even won maybe in four games if uh, not for Vince on the other side. But here's my three stars of the week for you guys. Insolences, number one. Vince, number two. And Lemon Puppy from Radiance coming in at number three. All had a great show in this week. And also, um, it mattered basically uh, the way I kind of did my star uh, rankings. is kind of based on the quality of the opponents as well for the qualifier period at least. Now that we're going to get into league play, it's going to turn into a lot more of, like, everyone's going to be on pretty much equal footing for, uh, like, opponent sh a strength. So it should um, even out a bit more. But uh, I put insults first. Like, Vince, probably the better stat line than uh, uh, insolences. But insolences t uh, took down Vince's team, and then Vince got to uh, pat the stats a bit against Heroes of Tomorrow. But there you have it, guys. North America is complete for the qualifier. We'll be moving into league play, and I'll try and do this weekly. Insolence is number one. Vince, number two. Lemon Pumping, number three. Let me know if you guys like this. Let me know if any changes. This is my first go at it, so it could be a little messy here or there. Uh, I'm trying something new. See if you guys like it. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Later.